And then finally, let's wrap it up. I'm even going a little over time. This was an interview about, they talked about Vision of Mana last time, but I was like super sick. So I wanted to talk about it a little again. This is sort of an interview. How Vision of Mana's producer made sure the game stays true to the series identity. And then this is known as Seken Densetsu in Japan. Of course, Secret of Mana uh, was a RPG created SNES. So Super Secret of Mana was one of my favorite RPGs on the Super Nintendo. And then we're talking to the guy. Let's go down to it. And then Vision of Mana is a series uh, first new title. Wow, in over 15 years since Heroes of Mana released on Nintendo DS. How do you feel about the new game's unexpected announcement? I get the feeling there's some surprise. And this is my first new title. They had remakes like the Secret of Mana remake and uh, Trials of Mana remake. But this is like an original new game coming out. So not including remakes. I get the feeling there are surprises because they never thought a new entry in the Mana series would be announced. I also get the impression that people are excited about the visuals that we released so far. On the other hand, we haven't been able to release all the information yet, so I expect people are waiting to hear more. We're excited because we know what it's about and want to reveal more as soon as possible. So who's developing Mission Mana? Square Enix is developing it uh, with NetEase Games Oka Studios. Uh, first, I'd like to... Oh, let's see. Nah, Vision Mana Creation. Let's see. Roll for Excel Vision Mana. Let's see if I can find... Uh, when they said, Up until now, you're mainly involved in Mana Series. Do you have any difficulty with making it? Well, making elements of Mana Series we didn't want to stray from. It was difficult to determine where we could step in and shake things up. So, Vision Mana is being tied as a return to the series' origins. Your opinion, where are the origins of the Mana Series? And what makes something Mana like? Which is an interesting idea. Oh, this is a beautiful artwork. I always loved. Secret of Mana's artwork, especially the Mana tree. We got the red birds flying around it. Sort of like trees on top of a giant tree. Really beautiful, uh, really beautiful stuff. I'm an actual fan who was charmed by the Mana series. I've been playing when the first game, when I played the first game when I was in elementary school. I didn't even play the subsequent games. Now that I'm in a position where I'm involved in the series development, I think the easiest way to understand the Mana series style is by looking at parts that Ishii was involved in. When I was trying to break down the key elements of Mana series, I came to the conclusion that it would be best to include monsters like Rabbite uh, that have been in Mana games up until now and have and to have Ishii supervise their design. I thought it would be a highly convincing way to convey the essence of Mana series. I also asked Hakan Ahachin Hatchin, who did the original, who did the character designs for the remake games to do the Vision of Mana as well. This guy actually does some amazing artwork. I don't know if, let me, let me bother you with, with some great art. They're, they're just some, to some amazing stuff. Let's see. Let me see if I can get the Secret of Mana stuff. Secret of Mana. Let's see. This is uh, really. Uh, I'll just bring this over. I don't think. I think the shapes. I mean, like, got like stuff like this. Opening Facebook, but just beautiful artwork that's flamey with King Truffle. Uh, you got Luca. Not, no, image search. Let me just expand it, damn it. Just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful artwork. I love the style of it too. It's just so colorful and vibrant. Per perfectly fits Secret of Mana. Just a really, really amazing artist. I love the style of it. Kind of, kind of reminds me a little bit of DBZ, but like Toriyama stuff, but not quite. I'm like I think he did this too. Beautiful artwork. Love the coloring and everything in it. It's a lovely color. So they got some really talented people working on it. And hey, how's it going, Silver Bishop? Who did the character design for the remake, uh, doing the design for Vision of Mana. He skillfully created the visual styles of the Mana series. Therefore, is confident 
the characters would be fine. Which, yeah, got some great people working on it. Key components, uh, beautiful artwork. In Japan, there have been four number of titles in the Mana series up until now. Vigil of Mana being the first completely new title in such a long time. Does it start with V because of the five? Everyone seemed to think so. However, overseas release didn't use a new numer- doing a numbering system. We simply put up, put uh, came up with a blank of mana style when we launched globally. Some uh, let's see. I think he starts talking about Western. Western eyes. Let me see if I can find that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So here's where he starts talking about it. Do you have any plans how you like the Mana series to reach out to Western gamers in the future? I get the feeling that many people who picked up Secret of Mana in 1993, at the time it came out, <laughs> now it came out we're young like I was and because it regular and because it regular received feedback from people who played the latest entries through the lens of their childhood experience with the series I hope that as they grow older and become parents they will recommend the main series to their children and tell them about how fun it was the unique atmosphere and design make some people feel like it's a bit childish however these are the strength of the mana series Rather than changing these features that make the Mana series, I hope that new players will come to like these games that have been popular in Japan for a long time for what they are, which is true. I think one of the strengths of it is the sort of designs like this, the color, the vibrant colors, the really beautiful worlds that it has. That really is what makes Secret of Mana, Secret of Mana. The Jiminy, uh, so while keeping globalization in mind, you're taking care not to let your series identity become westernized, which I'm not even sure what they mean by westernized. I think the visuals of the mana game are distinctly characteristic. Therefore, it's best to deliver the game based on the developer's creative vision. For example, there are many different cap carries on mana series. I think the fun of the game is encountering the mysterious world and its inhabitants. And because of that, we do not have a strong focus on a particular audience. However, we do work with the game with bearing in mind the mana series is loved by fans all over the world. <laughs> I hope it continues. I sorry to ask this, but when it when the release of Secret Man is just around the corner, but would you like to continue working on the series? Let's keep striving to remake the mana. So this is kind of an interesting interesting question. I'm not even sure what this guy means by westernized, but uh clearly he realizes that the secret of mana strength is staying in the identity of secret of mana the sort of things yeah i guess west i guess that is what they mean with x runner uh, changing them into a woman and making it lame like having a bunch of uh diverse characters as they'd like to say but yeah that looks like they're fully committed to keeping it uh keeping the game looking i don't know if they got a picture of it but i mean they have no the character designs themselves look really beautiful I got a beautiful woman. Now, cute little fairies. But the style and the art look very much in tune with the old Secret of Mana games. <laughs>